Hey gang, Kai here with you from XBED, and I've got our Typhoon 15 and 25 liter packs, and I want to give you a tour of the details. Um, the pack's designed specifically for, well, hiking and everyday use, but because of its durability and its waterproof construction, you can use it across a wide range of activities from caving to rafting to canyoneering, canoeing, kayak, uh, just walking in the pouring rain, great for all of the above. So let's start with the suspension system side of the pack and I'll show you some of those details. Uh, the back panel is a foam uh, mesh, uh, so quick to dry, very comfortable to wear. Shoulder straps of what we call spacer mesh, so there's a lot of air here wide enough to distribute the load comfortably but really quick to dry an adjustable sternum strap and a nice sturdy hull loop as well and at the bottom you'll see that we have a a small hip strap and that is easily removable by simply pushing the end piece sideways through the toggle and it comes off and it doesn't have to be just constantly dangling if you're not using it. So that's the suspension system side. The other side of the pack starts really with the fabric. It's a 420 denier fully waterproof fabric. So the waterproofing is done by lamination. So it's super durable. It's not just a coating that's going to wear off. It's a laminated material. And then also fully seam taped, which I'll show you at the very end. On the front of the pack, you've got two daisy chains and two ice axe loops so that you can put ice axe or trekking poles here on the back should you need to. On the side, there are stretch side pockets, one on one side, one on the other. And at the very bottom, you'll see there's a little loop for a bike light. So really quite full featured, but still simple and clean in its design. Now, uh, the closure is a roll top style closure and like all of our roll top waterproof packs, there's a stiffener along the top edge, the two top edges. You, and I want to show you just a little trick to making this go really uh, uh, comfortably for the back of your head. Simply put those two stiffeners together, and what we like to do is roll at least three times for a good seal, but roll toward the shoulder straps. And if the pack's not full, you can roll it as many times as you need to to get it snug against that load. And then you clip it back the other way, just like so. So there's a quick release buckle there, and that gets the buckle back off of your head. Now, there's one other way to close Typhoon, and that is hidden, one half of this is hidden down in this side pocket. So there's a strap with a Fastex buckle, like so. And what this allows, in those circumstances where you don't want you know, the top to really be able to hang up on anything, if you were hauling this pack, you can make a cleaner, cleaner, bullet-shaped top for hauling. So that works quite well. Last but not least is the interior of the pack and you'll see that there's a small pocket, a zippered pocket, hanging just on the inside of the pack for wallet, keys, phone, that sort of thing so that they're not at the bottom of the pack. This also gives me an opportunity to show you the taping and the bright interior. So all the seams, any stitching is fully taped and the interior is bright. So when you're looking for something at the bottom, it's not a black hole. So those are the features of Typhoon 15 and 25. <clears throat> Excuse me, talking too much. I'll see you out there, rain or shine. Cheers.